I thought that it would have been just a powder, but it feels so nice on my face. <gasps> and then I drop it. Hello everyone, my name is Leah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup haul and this is the second makeup haul that I've done on my channel and I thought that I would share just a few things that I've bought over the past few weeks. So the places that I went to were BH Cosmetics, Colourpop and Beauty Joint and I just bought a few things and I thought that I would share them with you today. So first off I do want to point out that I am sick. Um, I've been sick for about four or five days. It's just my nose. It's really really blocked so please excuse me if I sound like a boy that's why <laughs> um, and if I sniff or cough throughout this video just ignore it so let's move on to the products that I've got so the first place I'm going to talk about is BH Cosmetics because I want to talk about the lip color that I am wearing and it is the pop art lipstick extreme lip color and it's in the color wham it is this awesome lilac bright purple and the packaging is really cute. It's just pink. Um, it's quite small, but it look, it's really compact and it will fit in like your purse or anything. It seems a bit cheap because it's like plastic, but honestly for the price this was like $5, I think. I will link everything down below. Um, but yeah, I love this colour, especially on like my dark olive complexion. I think it just makes like my teeth pop and make them look more white, makes my eyes pop. Just a really nice colour. Um, I've never worn a colour this bright before, so yeah, really really like this colour and I just got one more from the same um, collection and it's called Zoink and it's this nudie brown colour, as you can see I've already used it, um, I think this might be a little bit too pale for my skin, it's, yeah, I might have to wear like a darker lipstick under, or lip liner under like, I cannot talk, it's been a long day, I would have to wear a darker lip liner underneath this and maybe add some gloss or something but they're extremely extremely moisturizing they're not sticky or tacky or anything they're really it's a really really nice formula so definitely go buy them because they're only five dollars and they've got a good range of um colors so yeah the next thing that i got from bh cosmetics was a eyebrow pencil and it's the hd brow pencil from bh cosmetics um it's got two sides so one side is the actual um pencil itself it's like a little crayon and the other side is a spoolie and I like how compact this is because it means you can just take it without having to bring like a separate spoolie or anything. I got the colour medium brown and this reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills little um, eyebrow pencil that you get. I haven't bought off there before or tried it or anything but I feel like this looks similar. It really gets into like my hairs really well and my eyebrows, shapes them really nicely, looks really natural. I think this was like four or five dollars so definitely check it out if you need a new brow pencil. The next thing that I got was a brush set and it's an eye brush set and I got six brushes. I'm just going to hold them up for you. So they just look like this and they're really good quality. I've used these um, a few times. I'm going to tell you a quick story. So I filmed this makeup haul on Thursday last week and I did it all and I was about to edit it and then I realized I deleted the intro and all of the stuff that I had got from um, Beauty Joint. So I've already taken off all the packaging for like all the stuff I got for BH Cosmetics and Colourpop, but I've tried to put some of them back in that I've that because I'd like I kept the packaging. So I tried to put them back in so they looked presentable for this video. But I was so pissed off because I was like, I'm gonna put this up on Monday, but then realised that I deleted the beginning clip, and I was so pissed off. So that's why it's not in their little packaging um, and that's why they're probably all dirty but I've got a tapered fluffy blending crease brush a small domed it's not domed a small half circled condensed brush a pencil brush a flat cat tongue brush I feel like this would be really good for concealer um, an eyebrow brush and just a kind of angled eyeshadow brush. I don't know what the technical names for these are. Um, they've all got numbers on them but I'll link this particular um, set down below. I think this was like $8, $10 which is pretty cheap and they're really good. And the last thing that I got from BH Cosmetics which is my favourite thing that I probably got out of my whole makeup haul um, it is the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals 26 Colour Eyeshadow and Blush Palette and it just looks like this. I am in love with all the colours. 
Um, it's a range of glitters, sparkles, mattes, um, and you've got five um, blushes. You've got a really light one, three more very dusty rose pink colours, and a really dark purple. Um, and there's some pink colours, some browns, some purples, some golds. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to use this. Um, I did already use it. What am I saying? Um, so I kept the packaging because I thought it looked really cool, but I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So it just looks like this. It's really sleek. It's black. And on the inside, it just looks like this. And yeah, I love these two colours for blush. And that one there, even though it's summer here, or spring here now, in New Zealand, um, I want to, I still love dark colours on my eyes, so I really want to try this one out. I might do like a autumn or winter inspired makeup tutorial for everyone who lives in the northern hemisphere. Um, but yeah, this was, I think, $15. All of this is in US, by the way, so it's probably like $25 New Zealand or something. Um, but if you live in the US, definitely, definitely check out BH Cosmetics if you haven't already. You probably all have because I'm really, really late on the bandwagon there. Um, and since I spent over like $40 or something, I got a free little travel size makeup brush set. It just looks like this. Um, so you get four brushes, but they're both, like, they're all double-sided. So you get eight brushes in total. It's a really cute little pink bag. Um, and you also got free shipping. But only if you lived in the US, but got a free travel makeup brush set. So, yeah. Next place that I'm going to share with you is going to be, um, it's to Beauty Joint. So, from Beauty Joint, I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. Just looks like this. And I got the color Natural. I think this is the second or third lighter shade. And on me, it's not very light. Um, it's more on the yellowy side um, and the only thing that bugs me is the little applicator because when you, you've got to push really really hard for it to come out but the formula is really nice really creamy blends well Woo! I'm so clumsy today um, what was I saying blends well it's not cakey gets rid of my dark circles and any pimples so this was like two or three dollars from beauty joint and it's like 17 dollars in pharmacies here so pick it up if you haven't already the next thing that i got was the elf instant lift brow pencil in the color taupe and it's kind of similar to the bh cosmetics one but i thought that i'd maybe get one that's like a shade lighter because in class we've been using taupe um we've been using taupe brow pencils and they looked really nice and natural in my eyes because i usually go for something darker because I've got naturally dark eyebrows but like light hair so I thought that I would fill them in darker but I thought that I'd try fill them in lighter so it's just the same concept it's got the crayon on one side it's a bit bigger which is kind of annoying but that's fine and then a spoolie on the other end I think this was like four dollars I was trying to look for them in Kmart but they didn't have any um but picked this up from Beauty Joint and I'm really liking it so far I've got to get my eyebrow game on point because I'm really lacking in the eyebrow department so I need to step up my game and practice doing eyebrows more often. And then I got, I keep saying the next thing that I got. Obviously, you know I've all got it. So I should just say this product is, um, this product is the Milani Easy Liner Retractable Pencil for Lips in the color Most Natural. Um, it's a really, really nice, dark, nudie, pinky color, sort of. Um, this looks really, really nice. Just to look like a naturally phone shh what is it i'm getting emails from the edge i don't know why as i was saying um it looks really really nice if you want to go for like a natural lip look i just put this on and then i'll put like my mac velvet teddy or my mac cream sheen and cream de nude or something over top um or just even this and a little bit of gloss and yeah, it's just a really, really nice natural looking lip liner. Um, so I got a bronzer as well from Beauty Joint. And it's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. And it's really cute because it's got a little sun in it. You can see. Um, I like how it comes with a mirror. And this was like $5, I think. Um, I heard a lot of people talking about this. So I thought that I'd pick it up. And because it's coming into summer soon, I thought that I should bronze my skin up more. And I only own two bronzers, so I thought that I'd add to the collection and get some more. 
I also got a mascara and it is the Jordana Besh, Besh, Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara in the color black. And this honestly makes my lashes so, so long. I've used it three or four times already and it is so lengthening. Um, the wand is pretty plain, but it does a really, really good job at lengthening and volumizing my lashes and it was literally like $6. So, bargain. I also got a eyeliner and do you know how dumb I am? I thought that this was just one sided and I just thought it was like the white side because that's what I wanted to get, just a white eyeliner to put in my waterline. But then I've realized it's double sided. I didn't see this black bit on the end. So it's got one side that's white and one side that's black. And it's handy because I actually needed a black eyeliner. Don't own any. Because I never wear eyeliner. I don't know why. Probably should. This is from Revlon. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Intense Eyeliner and Brightener. Yeah, this was like four or five dollars. So I just thought I'd pick it up. And the last three things from Beauty Joint are just eyelashes. I got some from Ardell and some from Cherry Blossom. So I got um, these ones called the 415 and they look like that. Um, they're just a really, really long, wispy sort of, they're kind of separated um, lashes and I thought those would be really nice when I got to town or something. And I also got the 43, which they're more close together and they start short on the inside and go longer to the outside. I should probably show you. They look like that. These are really, really nice as well. Um, these were all like $3, I think, $4, really, really cheap. Um, and then I got the Ardell Demi Wispies in black with the invisible lash band, which I really, really like because I never wear eyeliner and I find it hard trying to cover the band. Um, so these just look really natural. I'd probably wear these on like an everyday, not everyday basis, but if I wanted to go out during the day and look presentable, then I'd just chuck these on. These were like five or six dollars and in our pharmacies here they're about fourteen, fifteen dollars, so I thought it was a bargain if I picked them up. So that's all I got from Beauty Joint. Now moving on to ColourPop. I've never bought from ColourPop before and I was so so excited because every YouTuber that I've seen has got stuff from ColourPop. And Shanxo and Kathleen Lights have done like a collab with them. So I thought that I would pick a few things up. The first thing I'm going to start off with is a highlighter. This is the Super, Super, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the colour Lunch Money, I think. I've already opened all these up. I don't know why I've kept them in the packet. Just thought they looked cool. Um, in the colour, yeah, Lunch Money. And it's this gorgeous, if I can open it, gorgeous champagne colour. Just looks like this, if I can show you. Um, ColourPop honestly has the best packaging, like, so, so cool. It's a really pretty champagne colour. That's all I can describe it. I didn't realise that it was creamy. It's like really, really creamy. I thought that it would have been just a powder. But it feels so nice on my face. <gasps> and then I drop it. The next thing that I got was a lippy stick in the... Lippy stick? Yeah, lippy stick. In the colour Lumiere. And I think this is the collab that... Kathleen Lights did with Colourpop and it's a matte shade and it's this gorgeous sort of purpley, taupey, nudie, pinky, all colours um, colour. If you want to see all swatches, I will link the colours down below so you can go check them out on the website. I'm really bad at swatches so I'm not going to try. Um, but I haven't actually worn this yet so I'm really, really excited to wear it. And I got another lippy stick in the colour Delilah. And this is like a dark, 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 <laughs> um, dark, dark purpley red colour. And it's super nice. It's also matte. I don't know why I got the matte ones. Uh, but I feel like this will be perfect for autumn. Even though it's spring here. I, uh, wow, they smell really good. I've got like a blot nose, but I can still smell it. It smells like vanilla. It reminds me of Mac. You know how Mac has that really sweet smell? smells like that. As I was saying, even though it's spring here, I still like wearing dark lipsticks. I don't know why, I'm really into like reds and purples and dark colours. Um, but yeah, I might save this if it all lasts till next winter, autumn. But yeah, I love it. And the last thing that I got from Colourpop was a lippy pencil in the shade Button. And I was expecting this to be a lot more pink, but it's more nudie brown. Kind of reminds me of like a Kylie Jenner lip. 
See, on this, it looks pink. Well, to me, it looks like a pinky coral. But then... And also, are you supposed to twist these up? Because I've been twisting it for ages, and they don't twist. Does that mean it's broken? I'm kind of nervous, because if I send it back, it's going to take so long for me to get another one. It's like a really dark, sort of nudie brown. And... I can't even twist it back down. Um, I've used this a few times, and it looks... Amazing. I also did get one other thing from Colourpop. It was one of their ultra matte lipsticks that go on glossy and then they turn to a matte. If that makes sense. Um, I gave it to my friend to wear on the weekend. So I don't have it here, but it isn't. <coughs> Why do I keep coughing? Um, but it's in the colour midi and I will just leave a quick swatch picture somewhere on the screen. Um, showing you what it looks like. If you guys saw my recent profile picture that I put up on my Facebook page or the picture that's on my YouTube channel in the corner, that's the colour there. It's the colour midi. It's like a dark nudie purpley colour. I don't know how to explain it but it is beautiful. I love it. Um, so yeah, that is everything piece of fluff. Um, that's everything that I got from this haul. If you enjoyed, give it a massive thumbs up if you want to. You don't have to. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I also just want to mention that I got a little card from Colourpop. They probably send this to everyone that buys stuff. But I think it's really nice when companies send you personalised things because it kind of makes you feel more like connected with the company. Um, it just says, hi Leah. Cocoa Puffs are cool, but we are cuckoo for you. From Carpop. XOXO. Just thought it was really cute. See ya. Until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day, morning, night, whenever you watch this, and I will see you soon. Bye.